Hello, movers and shakers. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Seven Figure Moving Academy. Basically, today, guys, we're going to be talking about pay, prices, and massive profits, all of which I'm sure you're very well interested. But we're going to go and we're going to show you how they all interlink and how they all interwine. Okay, so stay tuned. Hey, and if you like it, do me a favor. Thumbs me up. Thumbs me down if you don't like it. Share it with all your family and friends, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, let's get into it. Hi, guys. I'm Jay Burnham, and this is the Seven Figure Moving Academy. Welcome to another uh, video episode, if you will. Welcome to my office. You can see right over, whoop, right over there in the background. I got some shoes and stuff stacked up, ready to go, because I'm also doing my eBay. Some of you guys know exactly what I'm doing. I'm buying and selling things on eBay. That's going very, very well. I've got several things over here on the table, which I've got uh printing labels and everything that's got to get shipped out so we're starting to we're starting to get some traction along that lines so that's my side hustle if you will but let's get into the the video what this video is about the, today's video is about your prices and your pay and paying your crew the prices of your of your services and how they all interconnect into massive profits ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so let's get into it. I don't know. I'm just being cheesy today, guys. I don't know why I'm just doing it. I'm just being a little extra. Okay, guys, so let's get into pay. Pay is a very, very uh, volatile, not volatile, but demanded uh, question that we get a lot about. How do we pay the guys? What do we pay the guys? And blah, blah, blah. And how do we keep good guys? Well, you keep good guys by paying them well right? You don't want to pay them, you know, basically slave wages. Minimum wages are actually going up, guys. Minimum wages going up. You're, you're seeing in a lot of cities like New York City and Seattle where minimum wage is going up to $15 an hour. So that means here very, very shortly, um, you know, if you want to get the good guys, you want to pay the guys over minimum wage. So that means you're going to have to start paying them 25, you know, 25 to 30 dollars an hour just to, you know, you know, 20 to 20, 20 to 30 dollars an hour just to get the good guys. And this is just for the basic dudes. OK, so this is no joke. This is happening here very, very soon. But pay is very good. So right now we're, you want to start paying the guy. If an average guy comes in. Um, and he doesn't have any experience. He doesn't. He's just an average Joe Blow. You might want to look, and, and again, this is, I don't know what area you live in. Um, so there is this caveat. I don't know the, the surrounding area. You could be out in a rural part of Montana where wages don't have to be very, very high because the cost of living is low. You know, it, it doesn't have to be very high. But uh, but here where I'm at, you know, you want to if you want the good guys, you want to start the guys right around 12 to 15 dollars an hour. That's to start them off. Right. If you want the good guys who can, you know, can be a really good guy who can drive and, you know, is a real good guy. You might want to start them off at 17 dollars an hour. And if you got a guy who really knows his shit, he can actually and he has a driver's license, a chauffeur's driver's license, can drive a truck and has experience and just has a good amount of it. You want to pay them around about 20, you know, seven, you know, right around the $20 an hour mark, somewhere in there. So you're, you're going to, you're going to pay the guys right around 15 to $20 an hour. Okay. Now this, this comes into play later on and I'm going to explain it very, very quickly here, very shortly to you very, um, here very soon. Um, but basically, you know, you, once you figure it out, um, how much you're going to be paying the guys based on the area, you want to make your prices now um, so that they're only about 30 to 40 percent, no more than 40 percent, right around the 30 percent mark of of your your hourly figure. OK, so um, hypothetically, if you're paying, if you're, if you're sending out three guys with the truck, one guy's at 15 bucks, one guy's at 17 bucks, another guy's at 20. You, you know, you got 37, you got about $45. Okay. Um, so $45 an hour is going towards pay right now. $45 an hour has to be 30% of, of, of your hourly figures. So you, you want to be right around the 30, 30 percent mark so you know so what is 30 percent so so where where is that going okay you're looking at, at for three guys you're looking at for 
I don't know. Let's see what it is. Okay. Um, and I can't, I don't do math. So let me, I'm just working on my computer and my phone here. Okay. So you got 45, um, you know, so you're going to want to pay, you're going to want to charge for three guys with a truck right around 150 bucks an hour. That, and I, that's right around where you want to go. Okay. Um, another way you could kind of figure it out it is, you know, 20 bucks a person or 25, you know, you, to figure out your hourly figure, you know, basically for three guys in a truck, you want to do, you want to do $150 an hour. Now, if you got two guys in a truck, where do you want to be two guys? Let's say you got a, a guy at 15 and a guy at 20. So you're looking at 35. So um, we'll clear that out. 35, and you got to use the divide sign if you want it. 35 times 0.3. Um, you want to charge right around $116 an hour. So I would, I would probably just make it because I'm OCD. I would just make it $115 an hour. Um, that's if that's you know so on and so forth. Now, uh, and Eric, Eric Work has a great idea about that. He goes. He actually includes his, um, when he does his figures, he actually figures in workman's comp. And workman's comp is probably an extra 100, you know, about another 6%, another 10% on top of that. So, you know, you're looking at, you know, a three-man crew with truck, you're, you're looking at about 160 bucks. You know, um, you're looking at about 125 bucks an hour for a two-man crew. That's right where you should be if you're at the 30% mark. Now, if you don't want to go to, at the high end at the 40% mark, you're more than welcome to do that too. Um, so let's just figure that out. Let's just do that. So let's say, um, you know, three guys with a truck, 45 bucks divided by 0.4. Um, you're looking at you're looking at uh, basically $115 an hour um, with for three guys in a truck if you want it to be at 40%. Um, and then you can include, let's say, another 10% for, uh, you know, another 10% for um, workman's comp, hypothetically. So you're looking at 120 bucks an hour for two guys with one truck or three guys with one truck if you're at 40%. Now, 40% is the very highest end you want to go. So to be making a profit, you do not want to be more than 40. You're, you do not want your payroll for the, each, every, each crew. You do not want to be 40, more than 40% of your hourly charge. Okay. So when you're trying to figure out how much should I charge an hour, figure that in. Now, if you're only paying guys 10 to $15 an hour, figure that in. It's very simple. So basically the formula is this. You take your, your how many guys, you know, their average. So the average. So you want to say if you got a $15 an hour guy and a $10 guy, that's 25. Time, you know, then you're going to divide that by um, 0 0.30, by 0 0.3 divide. So 25 divided by 0.3 will come up with your figure if you want to stay at the 30% mark. OK, now I understand if you're a new company that that's going to be kind of hard to achieve, to, hard to justify to somebody when you have no no reputation, no reviews, no nothing. That's very, very hard to justify. But when you get up to the higher, when you start getting those reviews, when you got five to ten reviews of positive reviews, you've got, you know, you, you then, you know, you've got several success stories and so on and so forth. You got you want to start doing that 30 percent. You want to go. Maybe you want to start at 40 percent. And, you know, after a year, go to 35%. And then after another year, go down to the 30%. Or maybe you want to do it quicker. I don't know. It's really up to you. But it's going to be hard to difficult to justify 30% uh, on, you know, uh, when you have nothing. So I would consider maybe thinking about 40%. But do not go over 40%. So that's how you figure. So when you're figuring out your pricing for your 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 services and your hourly services you do not want to do you do you want to take in the fact your average hourly uh your average pay of the guys so you know if, if it's a hundred dollars an hour 40 percent is 40 bucks right so you cannot pay your guys more than 40 bucks if you're going to charge a hundred dollars an hour all right so how so if a two-man crew you know and they're both getting paid 15 bucks an hour. Let's say they're getting paid 20 bucks an hour. 
You got two guys, they're gonna get paid 20 bucks an hour. That's 40, forty dollars right there. Good. That's that's as much as you can pay them for that job. There is no room for any bonuses. There's no room for anything. So at $100 an hour for two guys on a truck, you cannot pay your guys more than 40 bucks, right? Ideally, you'd want to be down around $30 an hour, right? That's where you really want to be is down to that 30% mark. So if, if you're going to charge $100 an hour, then you, got, you can't pay your guys. Ideally, you want to pay your guys right around the 30%, which would be $30. So that means two guys being paid 15 bucks an hour, which is good pay. Uh, depending on the area you're in, that's that's good pay. You know, like I said, Seattle or New York, that's not, I mean, that's minimum wage. So kind of figure that out. Now, and that's how you create massive profits for your company. This is how you actually make the money that you can actually start putting away for later uses to buy a new truck, to get better equipment, to to send for training, to 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 for uniforms, for your promotion, for your direct mailing, for your TV ads, your radio ads, whatever. This is how you're going to make the money. This is how you're going to pay your licensing and your insurance. You know, um because, you know, a license and insurance is probably going to be another 20 to 30 percent on top of that. So you're talking if you're at 40 percent, you're going to add another third. That's 70 percent of your income is going for licensing and insurance and pay. OK, so that means another the, the remaining 30 percent is, is got to go for maintenance and marketing and sales and this, that and the other thing. That's not good, guys. That's not so you really want to cut your costs and really think. So if you want the massive profits, go make sure you your 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 payrolls at 30 to 40 percent of your hourly figure. All right. And if you're going to determine your hourly figure, you got to figure out how much you can pay your guys. So based on how much you should be paying your guys for your area, that's going to determine your hourly figure. And then that's going to get you your massive profits. See how it works. This is how this is really great. So, guys, that's my video today. I hope you like it. Hopefully I understood. Hopefully I set it out in a one, two, three. Good enough. If you got any questions, make sure you leave me a comment below. Um, Talk about anything. You can talk about my funky hair over here going on. Whatever you guys want. Let's get into it. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you like it. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon. There's a little bell icon next to the subscribe button. You hit that, you can, you'll can you be uh, informed of when, every time I upload a new video. And guys, make sure that you share this with all your family and friends. And thank you guys for very, very much. I appreciate everything you can do. See ya. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. There's one guy that goes... Come on.